What's going on YouTube? Giosna right here. So in today's video, we're covering yet another customization tool for iOS based on the Sparse Restore exploit. This one also allows you to customize your device directly from the device without a computer. So we're going to get into it in a second. This video is brought to you by AKSec. If you want to learn how jailbreaking works, how to make your own jailbreak, how to write iOS exploits and find iOS vulnerabilities, they have the best courses available. They even have in here offensive iOS internals, which covers in detail every single aspect of the iOS operating system. So if you always wanted to learn how to do this on iOS, how to be a reverse engineer, a security researcher on iOS, this should contain a lot of what you need to get started. Definitely check them out below. So just a couple of hours ago, Lemon Limes posted this, quote, Nugget Mobile version 2.0.1 has released and it's now available over here on GitHub. It's essentially a tool that allows you to customize various parts of the device. It uses the sparse restore exploit in order to perform those modifications without being jailbroken. So it's as here that it works on iOS 16.0 all the way up to iOS 18.2 developer beta 2 or public beta 1 and it should work on all devices. To grab it you go here to the releases tab and there should be the latest version and you have the IPA file in here that you can actually sideload. So now you can see this is the interface. You have the apply tweaks button, remove all tweaks button and then you have here on the tools a couple of tools that you can enable on the device. So on the mobile gestalt file you have in here the option to press modify and here you can now enable or disable various tweaks based on the mobile guest hall. This is a technique that was recently discovered that you can change these based on the mobile guest hall keys and you can enable various features that would not normally be available on your device. For example, the boot time, charge limit, collision SOS, tap to wake for the iPhone SE. You can disable the wallpaper parallax. You can enable stage manager from iPads, Medusa, iPad multitasking, though you should keep in mind that some of these have warnings. These tools, Nugget and Misaka X, they're all based on the same kind of exploit, the sparse restore exploit, and they can be dangerous if you don't have a backup. They can mess up the device if you enable the wrong thing, especially those more with a warning you should be careful about. You can enable the Apple Pencil toggle action button, allow iPad apps on iPhone, this one seems to be quite interesting, and even disable region restrictions like shutter sound and stuff like that. You can even set your device to be Apple internal so that you can enable metal HUD in all apps. And once you have all the tweaks, you press apply in there. Now there is also another one, the springboard option over here. You can set the footnote text for the lock screen, disable lock after respring, disable screen dimming while charging, disable low battery alerts, those can actually be quite annoying. So you would go here, disable low battery alerts, and you would go back and enable that tweak. You can disable the breadcrumb, show supervision text on the lock screen, disable CC presentation gesture, and enable AirPlay support for stage manager. Then here on the internal options, you have a couple of more developer-y kind of things. So show build version in the status bar, force right to left layout, metal HUD debug, various debugging things for accessory, iMessage, FaceTime, App Store, whatever. Hide the respring icon, vibrate on raised wake, play sound on page, show notifications for system pace and then you have the status bar over here hide the carrier you can change the text in there change the data type over here for changing the battery icon capacity you can spoof the percentage show numeric wi-fi strength you can hide various icons from the status bar you can hide the cellular the airplane mode hide focus or do not disturb hide the wi-fi the battery the bluetooth icon the vpn icon so that you can declutter your device these are the tweaks that are available completely without a jailbreak directly from your device once you sideload the application you can actually sideload the application with troll store as well as you can see here i have it installed via troll store and it's actually quite great because it works pretty well so definitely check it out in the link below especially if you want to customize your device a little bit this works on all devices and it works on ios 18 as well so you shouldn't have any issues with that just be careful with the ones marked with a warning and do a backup first thank you for watching i am gsnow peace out